Hello everyone, uh, here's another one. Uh, what I wanted to do was show you guys, uh, you'll get another another uh, one of the drawings in the exam that will require you to put uh, to change all the sharp corners to a radius or have a radius on every corner that you see, interior and exterior. Um, there's a way to do that. Um, it's a command that I showed you guys in class on Friday, which is called a join command. Um, you know, of course, let me explain one more time. The region command is used mostly for data collection, which means for uh, mass prop, for centroid, for area, for volume, things like that. That's what the region is used for. Um, the, the join command actually allows you to edit the body after it has been joined. I mean, you can do things with it, like uh, add things to it or offset it. Um, I showed you that on the uh, pool. I won't do one for the pool because that's an easy one. But uh, essentially, a pool is you're offsetting it out. And uh, we need the area of the pool, of the little um, sidewalk inside there. Um, I might do one, but uh, just hang in there, and I'm trying to do these quickly and short, make them fast. Okay, so as you can see, let's get started. As you can see, this is a, um, each piece is essentially a single line. You can see that. It's just a single line, and I need to make this all one piece. I don't want to region it. I need to join it. So we're going to do a join command. I can type right, join. Um, as you can see, I can pick each one individually or just put a window around the whole thing. Boom, right click, and now the whole piece is one, as you can see. It is now one. So that's what I want. Now I'm gonna, what I wanna do is I'm gonna write, I'm um, gonna use a fillet command, fillet, F for fillet. And in that fillet command down at the bottom, you've got to make sure you define a radius. So we need to do R to call out a radius size. In this case, uh, in the in the um, in the actual exam, I might actually tell you, or we might ask you, which radius to put in. Um, it might be a point one two five. So let's do that. And now at the bottom, I'm ready to go. Now we could just go in here and pick one at a time, but that's not what we want. Down at the bottom, we actually converted this whole piece into what they call a polyline, a p-line, just like that last uh, one that I showed you with the chain. Um, except it has no thickness. It's just a plain old line, but it's all one line and it's called a polyline. And of course, down at the bottom, you can see there's a polyline option, and that's what we want. So we're going to pick P, and it asks me, oh, uh, okay, fill it, select the 2D polyline. Well, I'm just going to select one. There it is right there. If you notice really quick, it actually added the 0.125 fill it all the way around. All of them have radiuses in one click. Isn't that sweet? And again, uh, let's say I don't want to have, um, let's say I want to change this. Let's say I want to change the size of this. Well, let's go to the, back to that same command, fill it. And I want to change the radius of it, R, radius. Now I want to go 0.25. And uh, down here it says, again, I need a polyline. So P, because all this is still a polyline. And now and I'm asking for a P, I'm going to pick that. And guess what? Everything changed instantly as one polyline. Now also you will have a problem if the spacing here is too close and a quarter or a .25 radius doesn't fit, it will leave it as a sharp. Okay, so you have to keep, you have to inspect it for a second, do a quick little glance over to make sure that everything did change correctly. And again, you can find the volume and things for this by changing it into a region. We pick a region and what do we do? Area command. And down at the bottom, we want to say it's, we have nothing to really remove. We want to add, there's no holes in it. So we're just going to say object. And we're going to pick it. And there we go. We've got the area right down here. You see it? Right there. And F2 to see it. And total area right there. Now, if we're taking, uh, if we're taking holes or taking things in and out, we're going to do add area. And you'll see it turn green. And then you're going to take out the holes. We'll turn kind of oranges or brown. That means those are being removed. All right. Hope that helps this one. Thank you.